back now. It's 8 o'clock. It's a Thursday morning, 16th morning of May of 91. Later in the hour, gadget guru Andy Parg will be here with the latest in idiot-proof cameras. Coming up on 840 on this Thursday morning, Katie's back in just a moment. Talk cameras with the gadget guru right after this. Years ago, finding an easy-to-use, high-quality camera was a real shot in the dark. But today, with all the inexpensive high-tech electronics available, even the most basic camera will more often than not give you terrific, goof-proof pictures. Our own gadget guru, Andy Parr, is here this morning with all kinds of ways to preserve that special moment, those times of your lives. Oh, they are. And you know, they're getting not only easier to use, but now cameras are taking better pictures than ever. I'll give an example. You know, nobody likes to get their pictures back from the processor with red eyes. Today's cameras have new circuitries and designs that re reduce red eye to an all-time minimum. Mm -hmm. This so guy has red eyes. He has red eyes. Red it was not pupils. taken with one of the, uh, with, uh, one of the cameras we have here, here today. Mm -hmm. Basically what causes red eye, when the flash goes off you know, in, in your face, it illuminates the blood vessels in the back of your eye, mm -hmm. you know, back in the retina. That's all you're seeing, illuminated blood vessels. So uh, some camera companies, such as Olympus, has a camera like this one, if you'd like to take a picture. Mm -hmm. What it does, right before the flash, it will burst about 20 or so, 20 to 30 strobes. Uh -huh, Those bright. strobes are designed to reduce the pupil size. Let's see, it's funny, we're under the light, so the flash didn't go off here. Oh. Uh, we have to do it a little bit in the dark here. Bring it down. I guess the problem is we have too much light. Oh, that's see, okay. The, this, we'll do the this strobes camera later. Is extremely smart, in the dark. and it knows when uh, you know, when it does not have enough light for the flash. Smarter than we are. It huh? really is. <laughs> okay. But this does have a strobe. You just have to trust me on that one. Okay, but this now is new from right Olympus. Because they turn turn the lights, okay. Andy. We'll go when the them. lights go down low. Up. Oh, we'll try it over here. We're not getting a too nice much camera, Andy. <laughs> 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 when the pictures come back, we'll see if it works. It really works. does work, ladies and gentlemen. But, okay, but that's what's a stylus next? from Olympus. Sells for two hundred and twenty-five dollars. Now, one thing that's important to note about cameras today, I'll be quoting suggested retails. All cameras can be found for about twenty-five to forty percent less than suggested retail. They're extremely discounted items. At Here's various stores around the country. At various, okay. yeah. I would go discounters, catalog showrooms, those type of places okay, are your best great. camera deals. Uh, this camera, the Kodak Star 935, removes the flash from the lens, and that is their method of reducing red eye. Mm -hmm. This unit sells for about $80. That's good. Okay. And this um, is an idiot-proof camera Yeah, as that well. is real idiot-proof. You put the film in, and you go. Now, one of the more unique cameras this year is, uh, this is the Fuji Discovery 3000. It sells for about $430, but this has one of my, my favorite features I've ever seen. It's called Auto Pre-Winding. And I, let me ask you a question. Have you ever <laughs> accidentally... Or inadvertently open the back of a camera and expose the roll of film? You know, I have any, and I hate when that happens. Well, it just, it's, it's horrible. And With auto pre-winding, it won't, because what it does, as soon as you load the roll, it automatically advances it to the end of the roll, mm -hmm. and then takes the pictures backwards. So as soon as you've taken the picture, it goes inside the canister where it's safe. So you're saying this one is for real idiots. This is Katie. <laughs> <laughs> Katie, try it on for size. Okay. But it also it has a dual flash. I'll take you this time, Andrew. Okay, it has a, a dual flash system on there. One flash is for your pre-flash, and the other is for illumination. Oh. And a uh, great camera. It's, it's designed like a pair of binoculars. Is this an autofocus? Yes, it is autofocus. Because Brian's looking pretty blurry Pink right now. Right? Okay, well, <laughs> what you do, put your finger down on the button one time. That will put it in focus. Okay, cool and go from there. Oh, I think there was something in front of the camera, but who knows, Andy. I think we'll your finger was right from the sensor. Develop. But, you know, okay, no problem. A little bit of practice in this video of proof. Okay. Now this Vautura from Canon, now Brian said this was his favorite camera out here. Uh, other than just its unique shape and, and style with the zoom lens, it has an infrared remote control. We're, uh, I have to turn the power off and on. Okay, let it reset back here. We'll give it just a moment. And it doesn't want to work for us right now. It worked earlier. But it normally <laughs> works. We're, we're batting a thousand right now. But show how the lens cap has okay, the uh, thing there. What is the flash is built inside the lens cap, and it conceals right there. This unit sells for about five hundred and forty-five dollars. Has a caption mode on it, and it's new from Canon. That's pricey. If you want to see something really unique, put this one. Well, let's turn it on first. Good idea. Okay, and let's, let's put this right up to your eye, and see what happens. This has an oh, infrared wow. sensor 
by your eyes. As it automatically it out, zooms it automatically, in. Yeah, it frames your subject, uh -huh. so it makes it even easier. It still has a 35 to 105 Ooh, uh, weird zoom noises, lens, too. and it does have the red eye reduction, the dual flash, and that's right. new from I'll, Minolta. I must, okay. okay. Now, loading Ugh. film. <laughs> they make okay. lots of noises. Right. Loading film. This is the Fuji Mini Dual Date drop-in film loading. It doesn't get any easier than this. The film is loaded. Oh, great. So you don't even have to line up the little You don't have to open it up. And this also has the auto pre-winding. Cool. So it's going to the rear of the roll right okay, now. Okay, will it just do its thing? Just keep on going. On. Now, if uh, you've ever gone to a party, don't you hate to be the one who's stuck taking the pictures? Well, this is Konica's new Compai. And what this does, it has a microphone inside here. And it listens for burst of sounds. Uh, Yo! So what we'll do, we'll go, hello, and what do we do? Uh, this is for bursts of sound, stuff hey! is laughter. <laughs> We're having so much fun, take our picture. See, there you go. And it, it takes the picture, then it automatically pans 100 degrees to get another shot. Uh-huh, and so do the little the saddle shoes party. come with this? Yes, maybe? they do. Those are not sold extra. <laughs> Very attractive. They only come in brown and white. Okay, now these are, let's quickly, okay, disposable well, cameras. We have single-use cameras. They're disposables. They come in a wide variety. You have, for example, the... Uh, weatherproof one, which is uh, can go seven feet underwater, sells for about fifteen dollars okay. to the stretch cameras, uh -huh. so the which sell for about fifteen dollars. <laughs> and we see have a couple of examples here. The stretch cameras are the ones that give you the wide panoramic shots. Okay, great, Andy. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Thanks for giving it a shot. Yeah? <laughs> oh, that's don't a good go, one. <laughs> don't go away. We've got ice cream coming up. This is today on NBC.